Welcome to Source 2 101. This is Sam Ichimonahihi from the Eagle One development team. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, begin today by jumping right into making our first room, hallway, and another room as we go through exactly how Source 2 and the way that it works is going to allow you to build the world of your dreams. Now, along the way, we're also going to point out some of the differences between Source 1 and Source 2. Uh, but without further ado, I want to make sure that we're able to jump right into these uh, and, and build these without spending too much time explaining each and every facet. So it's kind of a learn as you go. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this view uh, my 3D view. I don't need my front and side view right now, so I'm going to press Shift Z. And uh, I'm going to go ahead to my object uh, mode up here by pressing 5 and block tool by Shift B. Selecting a block and let's go ahead and create a, a room. Uh, let's uh, make this uh, a, a one uh, 256 by 256. All right, that's fine. And uh, we'll go ahead and keep it uh, 128 uh, actually for today. So I'm going to go ahead and readjust it just to try to make it easy. And uh, let's see, it's 120 by 120 by 64. There we go. And I'm going to press enter. And right now I have a block that I'm going to invert by pressing F. Okay. This is going to allow me to create a room with six faces, one object, six faces. This is going to be our mesh approach to being able to build rooms, uh, not the old way. Okay, The old way was building rooms with blocks. And if I'm building rooms and I'm using blocks, the workflow for that is not going to be as good for Source 2. If I'm trying to build rooms with blocks, then I've got to create... Uh, unnecessary walls and by the time I'm done instead of six I've got 36 faces uh, I, I, I really encourage you to not try to build rooms using blocks but instead by using meshes okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just delete these because I don't need to try to explain a little more uh, so <clears throat> to scale things I'm gonna go to my entity tool over here and select player start uh, placing down my player start, I get a good idea of exactly how uh, tall my uh, uh, height is going to be. 72 units, by the way, is the height of this. And I can see at 64, it's about where the eyes are located. So VR scale is a little bit different than a 2D scale. <clears throat> so you might have to adjust this as we go. Uh, now, I can create a, a hallway a variety of different ways, but I want to keep in mind as I create my hallways that I don't want to create endgons, okay? So here's what I mean by that. A lot of you uh, will create this, and I'm going to change the grid size by, uh, you can go down here and select uh, 16, or you can go ahead and uh, open and close brackets will allow me to switch this. I see a lot of people creating hallways like this. Uh, using the clipping tool by pressing C, they'll cut into a face in a uh, face mode right here uh, you can go one two three four five six and eight to switch between the different selection modes uh, but in face mode i see a lot of people using the cut tool c to make a hallway and this is actually going to end up being an end gone uh, i want to try to avoid this an end gone is any time that we're creating a shape really with more than four sides and here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got a whole lot of sides. So any more than that, I want to try to avoid. Um, <clears throat> and it's not that we can't handle this. You know, if I if I wanted to make the the hallway, I can hold shift and pull this out. Uh, the problem with this is that when I start to create a bunch of endgons, the, the more I make, you're going to start to notice the lighting is going to be weird. Uh, the engine can handle horizontal and vertical endgons pretty well, but you'll end up noticing, especially with some materials, that the, it doesn't work correctly you're going to start to notice some funky artifacts so let's stay away from n-gons i'm going to do all of this by pressing ctrl z a bunch of times that's undo and uh, let's go ahead and get back to where we're at um, here let's let's do this instead um, i'm going to select the face press ctrl d uh, this is going to allow me to create some uh, uh, more faces i'm going to uh, from here i'm going to double click these edges to select all of them uh, press f to bevel it and uh, by beveling this i can go ahead and uh, select the edges you can double click them or you can shift click i'm going to move my hallway into uh, its uh, shape and notice now i've got quads okay quads all around i'm going to select this middle one i'm going to hold shift i'm going to pull it out and now i've got a hallway 
I've got some quads, nice and easy. Now, I, I want to make sure that I continue to build, uh, taking faces, pulling them, and extruding them. But the one thing I want to try to do is I want to try to make sure I keep it to one object per room. So one object per room is going to be great. This is going to allow me later when we're building cube maps to have cube maps correctly splayed out. Otherwise, if you don't have one uh, mesh uh, per cube map, cube maps can only be uh, projected. Uh, you can only have uh, uh, one uh, on one mesh uh, and one cube map on it. So if you try to keep building it one per room, then you should be in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead. I could build another room on this side. A bunch of different ways but let's go ahead and let's let's do this quickly selecting this in object mode i'm gonna press shift f this is gonna create a mirror i'm gonna create my mirror this is a plane now notice if i twist it around i can change it and i'm gonna press enter this has allowed me to copy my room really quickly and uh the only thing i need to do is i need to delete these faces so select this in face mode and once again i'm pressing three up here to go into face mode, hold shift to select multiple faces, press delete, <clears throat> and now if I look out, I now have two rooms created with a hallway. I've created it correctly. I am not using n-gons. I'm not using blocks to make my rooms. I've separated them in, into separate meshes, and I have also been able to use this entity to scale how my rooms would look. So, uh, so far, <clears throat> I've jumped right into this engine and treated it like a modeling tool. And I'm hoping that if you can look at this sort of as an extension of a modeling program, that you're going to have an easier time building this out. All right, that's it for my first tutorial. Uh, we're going to go ahead and our next one, we're going to look into adding a little bit more trim, sprucing this up. Uh, but uh, make sure that you guys subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys later. Have a good day.